Well, good evening and welcome to the LBJ Grasslands outside of Decatur, Texas. We are at a campground and Little Cottonwood Lake is just across the road directly to my left and behind me is the much larger Cottonwood Lake. Roughly uh, 150, 175 yards away as the crow flies and tonight's exercise is part one of a two-part review of the Flex Tail Tawny Repel. I do want to thank Flex Tail for sending me the product and making these reviews possible. This is a combination mosquito midge fly repellent, camping lantern, and power bank. Now you've probably seen this before. You have these repellent mats that go in here. You can use one or two of them grills here, USB-C charge discharge. You'll notice that port is uncovered. These are your control switches, left for the repellent, right for the lamp. UI is the same for both of them. Double click to enter the first mode for the repellent. That would be camping. Then you can click again for outdoor click again for off. The difference between those two is that they allow you to trade off volume of the protection area versus runtime. The lantern has four output levels. Click to cycle through all of those. Of course, there is no memory. One thing I will tell you that since this is curved, you do want to make sure that you don't press straight in from here. You want to turn just slightly, keep your finger close to perpendicular to that surface, and it will work more smoothly for you. On the bottom, we have magnetic and tripod mounts. We will be looking at both of those tonight. On the subject of tonight, this is part one. So I'm going to be looking at the product as a whole. Uh, I will do a repellent test first in camping mode. Uh, I want to get that out of the way as soon as possible because you can see it's still light. Uh, this is an area that I've had a lot of problems with in the past. Mosquitoes, uh, flies, there's a bunch of stuff out of here, out here that is not going to be repelled by this product. So I want to get the repellent test uh, out of the way. We'll be looking at camping mode. Then I'll show you the lighting levels, and I'll also show you how the mounts work. Now, the big repellent test is going to be in part two of the review. That will be filmed at a separate location, and I will take this unit out, have it attached to my ruck. I'll do an hour, hour and a half hike in outdoor mode again at an area that I've had a lot of problems with mosquitoes with in the past. So my two big problems tonight that this product might address are mosquitoes and flies. Uh, we'll see how it does with other uh, bugs as well. There are plenty of flying uh, annoyances out here. But enough of that. Let's look at how the mounts work. First, let's look at the magnetic mount. Now, this magnet does not extend across the complete diameter of the bottom of this unit. So you have to really put this on a very smooth, flat surface. Be very careful on something textured like this. This seems like it's, it's working, but you'll notice that it wants to fall. You have to be very careful about the placement and maybe if you're lucky, which I'm not, you might find a place that it will Yeah. You can see it's almost impossible for me to get a location on this surface where this will hold reliably. Of course, if you put it straight up and down, it's no big deal. So just something to think about in terms of that mag mount. All right, there it is set up on a tripod. This is the uh, 
repellent test stereo I'll use tonight. I've got my uh, chair right there. I'll be just sitting and chilling out. And uh, once the sun goes down, we'll find out exactly what this unit can do. All right, this is the basic repellent test. I've had the unit on for just over an hour, been staying very close since that is the only protection that I have going. So I'm going to uh, sit down here. That's a very powerful search and rescue flashlight I've got going. Sit here, turn around, and to make it even worse, that is a 1,000 lumen flood from my uh, search and rescue headlamp. There we go. Just had something fly by my chin. It's a much larger, yeah, right there. Might even be a June bug. There might be just a few of them left, even though they were big uh, last month. And I'm just gonna sit here for a minute or two and see what happens. Staying very close to that tawny repel which is now in camping mode. I'm actually uh, fairly pleased so far. I film reviews out here all the time at various campgrounds, and I I'm literally as close as I can get to Cottonwood Lake, and be at a formal campground. I usually try to do reviews well south of here just because of the bug problem. I should be inundated with all sorts of bugs right now, and I've only had one that looked kind of like a moth, but I, I don't think that's what it was, light on my arm, and uh, that's been it so far. So a result that is uh, far in excess of uh, what I originally expected. Over two minutes so far, and I have, oh, there goes that big bug again. Up, oh, he just hit my arm and then flew away. The big thing I'd be worried about, of course, is mosquito and uh, flies. Got something else in my arm that's not a mosquito. But I, I, I would normally have to worry about bugs flying into my uh, mouth, into my ears, uh, inside my safety glasses. This is just absolutely phenomenal. I thought something was on the arm. Uh, no mosquito. Oh, not sure what that was. It's kind of whitish. Okay, there's a little something right there. Get off. Not sure what that was. But I would normally be just completely soaked in bugs, so to speak, by this time. And I've, I've got uh, a total of 13,000 lumens of light uh, out calling everything that's uh, flying over into my direction. So I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut this test down. Now that it's gotten uh, dark, I want to go ahead and show you what the uh, lantern looks like. All right, here we go. Full disclosure, I am moving outside the volume of protection provided by the tiny repel. So I've gone ahead and applied a spray repellent uh, head to toe, and we have both the lantern on its lowest level of illumination and the repellent going at the same time. This is one level up. I've moved about 10 yards back. One more level up, about another five yards back from the previous clip.
and that is all the way on a good uh, 30, 35 yards away from the truck. I'm going to go ahead and walk it on in and hope I don't trip here so that you'll have an opportunity to uh, pick up some of the additional detail that is available with the highest level of illumination. Let's move around here. Now this is running off of an internal 21700 that is rechargeable but not hot swappable. Well, there we have it, the Flex Tail Tiny Repel. Overall, I would say this is a good first test. In the second part of this review, I will take this out for a night hike in an area that I've had uh, bad problems with mosquitoes in the past. I hope you found the uh, information you were looking for. If you'd like some additional details or tests, leave a comment. I'll see what I can do. And as always, until the next review, thank you very much for your time, and thank you for watching the video.